Hi, and welcome to another video in our ongoing Pixel 2D series. In this video, we'll focus on expanding the tile map a bit and learning the functionality of how to use and work with animated tile sets. So, before we begin with animated tile sets, I'm just gonna try to expand the current tile map that we have, add a bit more detail and so on. I'm just gonna press fast forward through this and you can follow along or you can make your own tile set just as you want it. Right, so I'm pretty happy how th with how this turned out. It's not super complex, but it's a nice enough looking scene. Now just save your work so you don't lose it and don't forget to add collision to the tiles that didn't have collision. So like this one and this one and uh, maybe this one. So to, to do that, just go here on the small magnifying glass and double click the tile set. Uh, check colliding tiles and just let's add box, add box, and for the bridge as well. So I think we have all of them. Save, refresh maps, save again, save here, and this should be it. Let's double, let's double check it. Yep, seems to be working fine. So looking good so far. Great. Now, how about? Uh, adding some animated tiles, right? Like we have the water, but it's a bit static, and we have the grass, which is also a bit static. So what? What if we want to make them animated? Well, we can do that, and I'll show you how in the next step. So to add animated tiles, first we need some animated flipbooks. To um, to get some animated flipbooks, just go into your template project source files folder like I showed you in the previous video and double click the animated folder and drag and drop this here right the animated objects underscore zero one right so now that we have them we can open them and don't forget right click sprite actions apply paper to detail settings select it and hit ctrl s so now we have our animated tile so this is a waterfall this is some grass uh, this is uh, our water some other grass and some lava for now we'll just be using these two like the grass here and the, gra and the water here so to do that we need to make flip books and to make flip books we need sprites so how can we get sprites? Good questions. You right click this and sprite actions. You, you click extract sprites. 
So what this does is it tries to auto figure out which assets are sprites. But we won't do that, we'll be using a grid. So sprite extract mode, press grid. And based on this grid, it's 80 by 80, but it's divided into five. So it should be 16 by 16, right? Great, so 16 pixels wide, 16 pixels tall. We have everything in a nice split and just press extract. And now you just extracted every every tile in that as a sprite. You save the uh, select them, save them all. We can delete these two empty ones since we won't be using them. Uh, move them to your sprites folder so it's easier to manage right so we want to make a flipbook out of these three like click sh hold shift and select the last one to select all of them and the these three uh, these uh, five actually so how we do that is select all of them right click and Create flipbook. This is gonna create a flipbook from our animated object. Let's just say FB grass. And it created a flipbook. Uh, it's a bit, it's not too nice. Uh, it has a high frames per second, but let's reduce it something to like five. Uh, it looks decent enough. It looks, it looks like waving grass from a distance. Right? And same for the water. Select them all and create flipbook. FB water. So this is an animated water. I'd reduce the speed a bit. So have both of them now. Just move them into the flipbooks. And you're done. In order to replace a normal tile with an animated tile, we need two things. So we need First we need a flipbook, which we have both of them right here. And then we need with the index of the tile we want to replace. So the index is not in the tile map, it's in the tile it's in the tile uh, set. So we want to replace this and this, right? So in our case, we'll just go here in the tile set and this is water, so it's tile number 3070 and for the grass we just want to replace this and it's tile number 1229 so we should keep those in mind and in order to replace tiles we need to go to the pixel 2d folder in blueprints and animate the tile replacer and double click this so this is basically a table and for each tile map you can assign as, as many tiles as you want to be replaced with a certain animated flipbook. So we already have a few of them, like waterfall, grass, lava, water, but this is, this is for our demo level tile, right? We want for our, for this tile, for the demo tile map, like for another map. So to do just that, we just add, a new row into the data table we give it a name uh, let's say water underscore tutorial so we have a name we select the tile map so in our case the tile map is our demo tile map uh, demo tile map great we select a tile set which in this case is pixel to the tile set combined underscore tile set great name it's this one and uh, we get to the tile set index right so as we agreed the water style set index is written right here in the bottom 3070 and write 3070 and for 
for our flipbook we just have FB water so we replace it with FB water oh we have two of them but uh, I'm not good at naming them but use the one in our game folder which is potato paladin select this uh, check both of these so it's gonna refresh when you spawn the actor save and do the same for the grass so grass tutorial time map demo time map same tile set index is we decide that this one we're gonna replace 1229 to There we go, save, save, and hit save, and nothing happens. That's because this isn't done on runtime, we need to drag and drop the tile set into the world again. So that's not too hard, we just can delete this, and now we just drag and drop this into the world, and we have all of this. And as you can see, it's animated now. So the grass is moving, the water is moving, and everything's working fine. Just put it where it needs to go. Somewhere around here. Uh, okay, let's test it out. And there you go nice animated grass and you can't see the water since the camera is too low but you can eject and you can move around and you can see it's working fine so that's basically how you do animated tiles now there's an update coming relatively soon that's gonna add a bit more uh, freedom to how you use animated uh, tile maps you can specify which level to use you can specify more than one tile maps per uh, per row and a lot of other things to make adding and changing animated tile maps much much easier right one thing about animated tile sets it's is that how they work is they spawn animated uh, flip books at the location of the mentioned tiles right and then they attach both the tile map and the paper flip books into one big group so when you select this as you can see it's gonna select all of them and when you move this it's gonna move all of them if you want to make some individual tweaks there is a way to do that just right click on any of these like you have the group actor as well and for groups unlock like if you ungroup it just kills the group but if you unlock it's gonna temporarily open up the group so you can make individual changes so for example i open up the unlock and now i can move my tile map and as you can see the flip books will remain here so and again i can move my flip books individually up down left right and so on and one, once you're done with making changes to the group just select any element from the group and groups and lock and this should lock the groups again and you you'll move them all at the same time so hope hope this helps uh, troubleshoot for some of you uh, this is it for this tutorial thanks for sticking around and in the next tutorial we'll try to get into the gameplay a bit more and i'll walk you through on how to set up a brand new character from scratch so that should be cool again thanks for watching don't forget to like and subscribe and see you next time